Hello, I'm Delta Charlie 2 Whiskey Kilo and I have something new to play in my shack. Um, the Yaesu 101 Twins. Here is the receiver, only the receiver. And here is the transmitter of that line. So you have two machines, two working on one frequency. And I like to show you how that works. I first show you the simple way to tune up both. I starting with the transmitter. I go here on tune, reduce the carrier, select the band. It's on 40 now. I can get here to the 40th line, to the mark. Where is 40? I'll go on max. Now I give a little bit that I have 100 milliamps. I search here for the maximum. Wait, maybe it's better to go there so that you can see the so that you can see the whole machine and the meter. So I search here the maximum. The driver is now selected. Then I search here for the unknown dip. Here it is. So then I can switch on power. Go a little bit higher. Then I find that place where the power is the maximum. That it was. Now the transmitter is calibrated, adjusted, and I'm here on 7.200. But that's not interesting. That here is not working because the VFO select is on transceive mode. So that, that means this transmitter is not controlled by his own VFO. It's controlled by the receiver's VFO. So now I'm here on 42. I'm first must search here the point where the noise is the highest. There are here red colors, uh, red color numbers. So you can't read it so good. And um, I must take a lamp, uh, a light or whatever to see that. So it's not well selected color for that on the gray. The red numbers on gray, you can't read so good. So the best way to um, find the place is put the calibrator on. And search here for the maximum. So. Then I can look at the frequency scale is okay it's not 100 percent so i go to calibrate it so that is a maximum i have calibrate now my breeze selector from the receiver i have calibrate the scale i have calibrate my transmitter band i have calibrate the driver the blade the load everything fine so now Normally, I can start with working. Here, the VFO select is on external, and here it's on TRX, what means transceive. So now I can control over my self made cables with set VFO, the frequency from the transmitter. Um, to build set cables it was not so easy because the plugs it's hard to get. You need an 11 oak tail socket, an, 11, uh, an, an, uh, an 8 oak tail um, plug with pins and you need a 4 pin oak tail plug with pins. And you need um, 
two change cables and one cable with one uh, PL plug and a change plug. So it's six cables what you need for and I get the most of the plugs uh, from eBay um, the sockets and whatever and one eight socket plug I get from an old tube what I broke the glass and uh, so I had the socket and I make a, a plug out of it and one five pin plug I made by myself with silver uh, uh, pins and hot glue and uh, a lot of work so I make one plug by myself because that five pin oak tail socket is uh, so hard to get so I'm happy that uh, it's working fine and you can pull it out like real plug so it's okay for me it's behind the machines and uh, I never uh, change it maybe anymore so now we start to uh, check the transceiver shift that means you you have here old machines it can be that the receiver frequency and the transmitter frequency are not exactly on the same frequency so you can control that with that fine tuning transceive uh, regulator so I show you how it works I go here uh, on transmitting first must uh, change here the mode on LSB change here the mode on LSB and here you have a monitor regulator I put them all the right place 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 so now I have control with this transceive knob the shift the frequency difference between the receiver and the transceiver so now we can work with I'm on the frequency what I listen maybe plus minus 10 Hertz so it's uh, good enough to work with that is the simplest way so it gives a hard way to to um, bring uh, both uh, machines on the same frequency uh, the German word for it is Einpfeifen I don't know the English translation for that, excuse me but you can here switch the receiver on internal VFO here the transmitter on internal VFO it's only working on CW so we must put here the mode on CW and here the mode on CW then you have here the calibration tone yes and listen what happened we have here a knob what calls spot when I put this on I switch it on and I go here with the carrier high you see here a signal it's coming up see so I put that on the same level it's five nine plus five so I put this here on the same level five nine plus five now I go and switch that tone on so we have now both tones the transmitter sent a tone with a very low power only for the receiver over a cable and the receiver have here a tone now hear what happened you hear both tones but are not the same frequency now I go to change the frequency now now it happened see what happened with the with the S meter it's feeding so that means we have here the same frequency the tone frequency from the transmitter and the receiver so now we are trans transceive with both machines we are can working with own VFOs and we are on the same frequency we are can starting now QSO and CW and uh, so that was the hardest way to find the same frequencies 
on the both machines. So I hope I had uh, shown you something interesting. I never seen that before. It's um, um, before my time. So the machines are from uh, I think 72, 1972. And um, it's interesting for me to see how the uh, old men are working uh, before 40 years. And uh, so I liked to show you that, how that was in that time. So 73, I'm Delta Charlie 2 Whiskey Kilo and have a lot of fun with our hobby. I hope we hear us on the frequency.